What's up everyone, it's DV and welcome back to my hardcore series. This is what, part nine? I think we're on part nine, aren't we? Yeah, so, so we're on day nine of, actually this is not really day anymore because I kind of took two days for this one. I kind of took two days for this one. Every day we have new subscribers, so I just want to give you a heads up that hardcore mode basically means no trading. So everything on this island I grinded for, I didn't trade for it, I pretty much just worked my butt off for it. Again, this is actually inspired by my friend Jesse TC, who uh, actually created a hard mode. I think he called it hard mode, not hard core mode, but he just called it hard mode. And it was basically the same thing, but a little different. I know he kind of altered it a little bit different than mine. And mine is just straight up, just no vending, no, no visitors, nothing like that. And pretty much everything that is on this island, like I said, is grinded for. Now I did actually do an electric update video the other day on this, this uh, island. It was like the first update day. And ever since I actually did move all of that stuff back to that alt, Cryon King. So I will continue making electric videos and all kinds of different build videos on that account. But this one is purely for my hardcore mode series. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, before I begin, please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, that'd be awesome. I appreciate every single one of my subs and uh, love to say hi. If you join my Discord, be sure to tell me that you, you know, if you're a new subscriber, let me know. And uh, same for my Twitter. You can reach me at Dark Viper on Twitter. So let's get to this. I got enough. I actually got enough still ingots. I have 5,000. And so let's go over here and let's see what I can make. I actually am trying to make a mold because I can't make the still press without this mold. So I'm going to come over here. I want to show you how much this still press costs. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's a drill. That's a drill, DB. Um, here we go. Okay. Still rods. So I've got 27 still rods. Um, the plates do, I need hundred plates and 250 copper rods. Now I did make the mold for the copper rod. So let's see. And I actually need this one right here. I need the plate mold. So I have 5,000 for that. So that'll complete my molds. All right, so we're gonna take the bolt out because we have plenty of those. We're gonna actually swap this out. And then I'm just gonna auto click this for a bit. I need 100 of these. So I basically need 5,000. Um, yeah, okay. So we need 5,000 of these. It's gonna take a little while. 5,000 copper is a lot. So let's get my copper out. There it is. And I'm pretty much just gonna drop it right here. Can I actually put this closer to it? Let me see. Oh, this is even better. Let me see. Let me sit right here. <laughs> Will this work? That's way better than, I see a lot of people put it on the side. This is way better because it doesn't have to travel anywhere. Uh, I can pretty much put an auto key presser for this for a bit. So I got a bunch of rods here. I got 386 in fact. I pretty much overnighted this and I got so much. I also got a bunch of steel too. How much did I get? I got 3000 still just overnighting that. So I'm gonna actually go make this and then we're gonna actually start grinding some steel because I wanna start making some electrical stuff. All right, so let's go make this guy. Let's see, I can make it so I can finally afford this thing. So I actually overdid it on my copper, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go and craft it. So I've got my steel press finally. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hook this up over here because I don't really need this steel anymore. I don't need that. The whole point of that is so I can make items. So I can actually make um, stuff that requires steel. So let's go ahead and take this input output chest out. We're gonna put this right here. All right, so let me get this conveyor out. There we go. And get this out of the way. And I wonder why I won't actually stay. It's kind of what I needed, okay. And then this thing can go back where it was. Will it actually fit? There we go. Like, why won't it fit? Okay, so we need, um, let's go check to see what we need again for this workbench. So we need for the workbench itself, it should be pretty cheap. Yeah, it's just iron and electrite. So I'll go get that real quick. Let's go farm. I need like 16 electrite, I think. So it should be quick. I need 14 more. All right, I got enough. Let's go back to my island and make this workbench. So it should already be upgraded because I already grinded for this thing. I, I, I technically shouldn't have to grind for yet another, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Okay, so we got this. And it is fully upgraded because I've already upgraded it. I don't think I have an electric tool, do I? I don't, so I'm gonna make another one of these. And let's see what we really need because I made this still press because I wanted the plates and stuff. Because ultimately, I'm going to try to make some gearboxes at some point, right? So we wanna make some more of these. And I'm gonna need bolts and plates for that. But let's go check to see what I'm gonna need in here. So I definitely need copper bolts. I have so many copper bolts. I made so many of those. Um, still rods I can make easily. Still bolts. Still bolts I'll need. Actually, I don't care about spire work launchers, so I don't need those. What out of these do I actually need though? I just need a bunch of iron. Okay, here we go. 
So if I want these, I do need more steel bolts. So I need to make some of those. Oh, you know what? I want to make a red bronze uh, factory at some point too. What does that require? I want to make a refinery and that's going to require a bunch of plates and some copper rods. So I'm still making copper rods down there. Um, still rods will be easy, but I need plates. So, okay. So let's go ahead and put the plate in there. So this is making rods. I'm going to put the plate in here and then I'm going to drop a bunch of steel over here because I don't really need a whole lot. Actually, how much do I need? A hundred? So I'll probably just overnight this instead because I can get a lot overnight. So rods. Okay, so we're going to make a bronze refinery. I think I'm going to AFK that tonight so that hopefully by the time I wake up, I am in good shape. So let's see. Let's go over here. In the meantime, man, I wish I, I need a lot. I need crystallized iron. I need electrite. I need all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, I'm going to need solar panels. Um, if I want to do any cool builds on this island and I actually don't know that I do yet Like I, I want to make some fun stuff on this island, but I don't really need that I don't really need it because the problem is with this whole like build I, it, The solar panels are so useless Like because it's only gonna work during the day and I don't really want to waste a bunch of materials just for that So I think uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the red bronze just because I don't have one yet and then um, After that I kind of do want to make a, uh, a legitimate cake farm. So in order to be able to make a legitimate cake farm, I do need to process some, I need to find some more crystallized gold. I have plenty of materials otherwise, but I need some more crystallized gold because I want to just make this an automated process. I'm kind of tired of doing it manually. So we're going to come out here and we're going to go farm for some star fruit seeds. And I'm also going to be looking for some crystallized gold. So I'm going to be going around farming for crystallized gold and for star fruit seeds. Maybe we can, uh, finish this farm because I really I don't want to make any more I don't want to have to keep cooking stuff manually it's so annoying it is so annoying hopefully we can find some star fruit over here though I think most of it's going to be in the other island I mean there's some here all right let's farm this I, I like that they made it easier to get gold though and crystallized gold is actually really easy to get I should get it within like 30 minutes or less hey, I got a crystallized iron cool There we go. There's our second one. Finally, a second crystallized gold. And we got cry iron. Um, I forgot what I need cry iron for. All right, so we're gonna make our second food processor here and we're gonna hook that up down here. So how it's gonna work is this is actually gonna make the dough, right? And then this one over here is gonna make the carrots. And so for now, we're gonna start with the carrot farm. Let me get rid of all these flowers. There we go. We're gonna transport this stuff to the left. And this needs to go to the left as well. So I need two left conveyors. Let's make two of those. Input output chest. Jeez. All right. So that's going to fill up over here. And this is going to come this way. So this is going to go straight. And then we're going to drop into the ground like this. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. I need four conveyors. Okay. So this is going to go like this straight into that guy. And then this one is going to go like that. So this is where they merge. Let me fill this up so stuff just comes out immediately. And this should be dropping right away. This is going to need some ground and then an industrial chest or an input output chest. Probably be better for an in and out chest and then an industrial. All right, so let me go get an, another input output. Let me see, do I have to make one? Oh, there's a bunch of down here. I don't need all these. So over here, I'm gonna make my cake farm. I'm gonna extend it out just in case I forget about it. I don't wanna lose a bunch of carrot cake. Um, let's go input out. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's put a little platform here so I can walk on it. There we go. All right, now let's configure this to carrot cake. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. We need the oven. We need an oven. All right, so we're gonna do that and that should be good. Now what I need to do here is put a cold totem above it with a conveyor and then just power this up. Now it'll auto cook. Wow, this is going really fast. I think the carrots are kind of backed up. <laughs> I'm making too much. This is when a totem disabler would actually work really well for me. Even like a randomizer would work really well right here. Let me go, let's see. I have this one over here being used. Do I have two of them? Oh wait, randomizers only cost crystallized iron now. I don't know why I was thinking buff cry. So I just need some steel rods. Nice. So I'll just make a randomizer for this. That way I can share some of the carrots. Here's my extra randomizer. So what I'll probably do is set up the randomizer this way and then I'll capture the rest in here. Drop some more carrot cakes in there. This would actually make for a really good auto farm right here. Like an AFK like at night because I could pretty much sit right here and just auto click this and then put coal in there. All right, so I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to connect these. What is going on? Why is it popping out? That's so weird. It like rolls out, dude. Cow, you're so dumb. Okay, so that is good. Now they don't fall out. 
All right, let me make those extra conveyors. Now I can pretty much just AFK this right here. See how our steel's going? We made one plate, one plate. So this is gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna actually uh, AFK this the rest of the night and then uh, I'll come back in the morning and finish it up. And hopefully we can make something really cool with that. I'm hoping to do the red bronze refinery because it does take a lot of plates. Let me see, and rods. It takes a lot of rods as well. Let's see what it costs. 100 steel plates and another 100 copper rods and steel rods are no problem. So we got nine rods. Yeah, we should be able to do this. All right, that was a long night of grinding and look how much coal I've got. 30,000 coal. All right, so let's go over here. How much cake? Oh, 1200 cake, jeez. Oh, my computer's so lagged now, look at it. Look, look how lagged I am right now. Let's see how much we got. I got 41. I only got 41 plates, are you kidding me? 41 from all that? Oh, we got a lot of rods though. 397 rods, so we got plenty of rods. We just need a lot more of this. How many plates do we need? We needed 100? That's like 5,000 steel, I think. So I've got a bunch of steel I can use, but um, I need to stop my animation. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna auto through this real quick. All right, so those are all in. Let's see how much we made. I think we probably only made like, what, 20? Oh, geez, we made a lot more than I thought. Did we make enough? Dude, we need three more, just three more. We could do that. Okay, let's go ahead and change this out to bolts. And then I need to, what I wanna hook up is this gold over here. Okay, so I need to save up for grinding. So I need to grind for crystallized iron. You know, I, I think I could just put some stairs here. Okay, so now I just need to, okay, so that is good. So now stuff's filling up in here. What I'll probably do instead of this is lift this up a bit yeah this should work okay so that is merging here so this is gonna drop down so i'm gonna put an in and out chest here at some point instead of this long conveyor and then we're gonna put the smelter right here so this will work it'll be something like that so i need another in and out chest i can use this one there we go okay so that's good and then that's gonna fill up with gold let's just put some gold in i'll use stone there we go Okay, that's good. And then I need a conveyor right here. And there we go, it's looking way better. Okay, I just need to block this so stuff doesn't fall out. And then I just need some, uh, I need some coal to power this guy. Okay, so we got power, we got power. Okay, so now I can reconnect this. I just need another in and out chest at some point. The problem is it's gonna come through here. So I don't really like that. Um, Shoot, let's turn it. I think I have a left, yeah, I have a left joint here. I will just put a chest right there. That'll work. All right, that was more complicated than I expected, but at least we got it going and I don't have to do anything else to it for now. So I got more than I needed actually. So I've got 101 here and I'm gonna go see what else we need. Do we need anything else? I think we're good. We good, we good? Let me see. Nope. <laughs> oh, I need to make the steel rods. Okay, I can do that. Let's go do those. Wait, am I out of steel though? I'm out of steel. No. Okay, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta save up a bunch of steel. Rip, I thought I was done. All right, this should be plenty. So let me grab this and then I'm gonna go make the last bit and we're gonna make this refinery finally. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever to do this. This is so rough. Can we make it? We can make it. All right, so we got our red bronze refinery finally, dude. So cool. This thing is expensive and I actually grinded for it. It's so rad. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna put some coal blocks here. These will actually take a long time to make. That's quite all right. All right, so let's put it right here. And then this, does it need, yeah, it doesn't need, uh, doesn't need coal, so we're good there. And I'm gonna flip this around and we're good. So that is set. So now my red bronze refinery is all set. My steel press is all set. And that completes this part of the video. I actually grinded for two things. Dude, I actually made three big things today. So I actually made an auto farm for my cakes. So look at that, 1600 cake already from an auto. So in this video, I was able to complete my auto carrot cake farm. So that's pretty awesome. I actually didn't expect to be able to do that in this video, but I did. And then over here, I was able to complete my steel press and I was able to get a red bronze refinery. That's actually a really big achievement for this video. I actually, like I said, I didn't expect to do this much. I only expected to do a steel press because it was such a big pain. Um, I'm also gonna be in the next video, I'll also be trying my best, assuming I can pull it off. I have 31,000 coal, so I'm probably gonna auto, you know, click that for a while. Um, and it might be enough for me to be able to complete my spire up there. And because I would like to start being able to stay up there a lot more. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, day one or part one of the video series if you're new to the series, because otherwise this probably won't make a whole lot of sense to you. So definitely check that out. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And I will see you all next time. Peace.